Amblyopia, commonly known as lazy eye, is a visual disorder characterized by reduced vision in one eye that cannot be fully corrected with glasses or contact lenses. It develops during childhood due to factors like refractive errors, strabismus, or visual deprivation. Amblyopia, a condition causing disruption in binocular vision, leads to various abnormalities including poor depth perception, reduced stereopsis, and impaired visual acuity. These abnormalities greatly affect daily activities like reading, driving, and sports, and understanding them is essential for managing and rehabilitating amblyopia. In the video, we will explore how neuroplasticity contributes to improving amblyopia treatment. Neuroplasticity allows the brain to adapt and reorganize, which is crucial for promoting stronger connections with the affected eye. We will discuss different interventions like occlusion therapy, vision therapy, and medications that utilize neuroplasticity principles to optimize treatment outcomes. Occlusion therapy, like patching, is an effective treatment for amblyopia. It involves covering the stronger eye, which encourages the brain to rely on the weaker eye. However, there are challenges with compliance and potential psychosocial impact for children undergoing this therapy. Amblyopia and its treatment can have far-reaching consequences on a patient's quality of life. Managing amblyopia often involves a significant commitment of time and resources, including frequent doctor visits, patching, and vision therapy sessions. These demands can impact educational performance, self-esteem, and social interactions, especially in children. Understanding and addressing the broader impact of amblyopia treatment on various aspects of a patient's life are crucial for patient-centered care and optimizing treatment outcomes. Amblyopia is influenced by a complex interplay of genetic and environmental factors. Recent research has identified several genetic and molecular factors that contribute to the development of amblyopia. These discoveries have shed light on potential targets for future treatment strategies. Furthermore, a better understanding of the underlying genetic and molecular mechanisms may help identify individuals at higher risk for amblyopia, allowing for early intervention and more personalized treatment approaches. Premature infants are at higher risk of developing amblyopia due to their unique visual development challenges. Factors such as retinopathy of prematurity, ROP, which is a common complication of prematurity, can lead to visual impairments. Diagnosing and managing amblyopia in premature infants requires specialized knowledge and techniques, considering the delicate nature of their visual systems. Early detection and intervention are crucial to optimize visual outcomes in this vulnerable population. Advancements in imaging techniques have revolutionized our ability to assess and monitor amblyopia and its treatment progress. Modalities such as optical coherence tomography, OCT, and functional magnetic resonance imaging FMRI, provide valuable insights into the structural and functional changes that occur in the visual system. These imaging tools can aid in more accurate diagnosis, individualized treatment planning, and objective evaluation of treatment efficacy. Congenital cataracts pose unique challenges in the management of amblyopia. The presence of a cataract obstructs clear visual input, leading to deprivation amblyopia. Prompt diagnosis and surgical intervention to remove the cataract are imperative to mitigate visual impairment. Managing amblyopia in these cases often involves a multidisciplinary approach, including coordination with pediatric ophthalmologists, pediatricians, and rehabilitation specialists. Pharmacological interventions, such as atropine eye drops, have been explored as adjunctive treatment options for amblyopia. These interventions aim to temporarily blur the vision in the unaffected eye, encouraging the amblyopic eye to be used more actively. While the use of pharmacotherapy in amblyopia management is still being investigated, emerging evidence suggests its potential efficacy. Evaluating the safety and long-term outcomes of pharmacological interventions is essential in expanding the treatment armamentarium for amblyopia. Amblyopia secondary to strabismus, a misalignment of the eyes, often requires surgical interventions to correct the underlying alignment issue. Strabismus surgery aims to realign the eyes, restoring binocular vision and stimulating visual development in the amblyopic eye. Surgery may be combined with other modalities, such as occlusion therapy or vision therapy, to optimize treatment outcomes. Understanding the principles and techniques involved in strabismic amblyopia surgery is crucial for ophthalmologists managing these complex cases. Vision therapy, also known as orthoptic therapy, incorporates various techniques and exercises to improve visual function and binocularity in amblyopia. It focuses on enhancing eye coordination, eye movements, and visual processing skills. Vision therapy can be used as a complementary treatment modality alongside occlusion therapy or after surgical interventions. The efficacy of vision therapy in amblyopia treatment has gained recognition, and its integration into comprehensive management protocols is increasingly common. Several factors influence the response to amblyopia treatment and the ultimate visual outcomes achieved. Age at the start of treatment, severity of amblyopia, compliance with therapy, 
and the presence of associated visual abnormalities, such as refractive errors or strabismus, all play a role. Understanding these factors helps guide treatment planning, manage expectations, and optimize outcomes in patients with amblyopia. Amblyopia is a complex visual disorder that requires a comprehensive approach. Understanding its various aspects, including binocular vision, neuroplasticity, treatment options, and genetic factors, allows for optimal care. Advances in imaging and pharmacology offer new possibilities. Improving awareness and knowledge will enhance outcomes and quality of life.